Hi everyone, this is Liz with Edmund Designs, and today I am going to walk you through how I ship my dolls. I've had a few questions as to how I'm able to ship them so cheaply, and hopefully this will answer a few questions. I use 5x5x3 five by five by inch gift boxes. I fill the bottoms with a polyfill, which is something that you can find in the crafting section with the fabric. It's typically used to fill pillows. I put in about a one inch layer. This can vary depending on the fullness of the doll's skirt. And then I use a very thin quilt batting and I have that cut into five inch squares. Next I check to see how well my doll is going to fit and then I adjust my polyfill level. The reason why I use batting on top is because all of those fine polyfill fibers can get stuck to the doll. I close the lid and double check and make sure that it's going to fit and I'm also making sure that it's not going to move around in the box a bunch and I can kind of feel that when I put the lid down. Then I take a ribbon. This is just a satin ribbon. I get rolls of it for 97 cents at Walmart. And this is going to help keep my lid closed. It's not just for decoration. I use a variety of colors. It's just, you know, dependent upon the season. Sometimes I tie a bow and other times I just tie it. It depends on how much uh, ribbon I have of that particular color. For my mini dolls, I use a two by two by four inch box. I get these from someone who gets their products in them. And so I just pay the shipping to receive them. So these are recycled. I test my doll out in them to see how much polyfill I'm gonna need. My dolls can vary in height. And then I just adjust accordingly and I don't need a ribbon to hold these shut. For my shipping boxes, I use six inch square corrugated cardboard boxes. These will hold two of my regular size doll boxes without having to add any padding. And if I'm just shipping one, I will put an airbag in the bottom and one on top. I get my airbags locally off of the Facebook swap shop. A lot of people tend to hold on to these. And it's not something that I really want to create more waste with. If it's one of my minis, I will use the smaller packing pillows, like you see here, to kind of hug and hold it. And then if I am shipping a regular and a mini, I will put the large packing pillow on the bottom, my box, and then my mini and a smaller bag on top. I make sure to include a business card with every order. Mine are blank on the back, and that's where I write my thank you note, but my old cards that you see here didn't have blank backs, so I ordered business cards that just said thank you, so I had a place to write my notes. My shipping weight is typically under seven ounces, and I ship with USPS first class. I charge a flat rate of $3 and eat the cost of 28 to about 85 cents depending on the shipping weight. I hope that helps answer any questions and don't forget to subscribe and like and thanks for watching.